Hello Flight Simmers Welcome and first of all wish you all a very very happy and prosperous new year Hope you have a wonderful new year 2020 bring lot of joy and happiness to you and your family <coughs> Excuse me Let's get back to the tutorial So today we are going to do a power on tutorial from cold and dark state now my previous tutorial showed you how to get into a cold and dark state for this Airbus A330 and uh, how to establish cold and dark um, and then uh, <coughs> have cold and dark as your default panel state. Today we are going to power on this aircraft from the cold and dark state. So there are a couple of ways to do that. First way is uh, you can say a very short way or a shortcut to <clears throat> get you into the power on state the second way is a long way where uh, it is similar to our uh, other aerosoft airbuses where you uh, click on the batteries and establish external power and uh, everything from there so i'll show you both the ways in this tutorial first way let's get the first way out of our uh, system <clears throat> so the first way is a shortcut let me get into the third panel that is this one so this is the third panel from where we established cold and dark state now there is another way of uh, establishing cold and dark state which i showed you is going into the third panel right from here this is your uh, this is your panel and here it is you can establish cold and dark state from here aircraft state the same the similar third panel is available here and from here you can do the cold and dark state so uh, I'll show you the power on state now now <clears throat> if you are in a hurry and you do not want to go into all the procedures of getting the batteries on and then wait for the IRSS to align and then uh, nav lights to on and so on and so on uh, you can establish uh, aerosoft has given you two different modes or two different states which you can load directly from your cold and dark state and uh, I'll show you both the states here it is as I told you that my aircraft is into the default state of cold and dark and there are three more states here and you can establish them right away from here as well so uh, what you can do is uh, <clears throat> if your if your aircraft has just arrived from another um, destination and um, and you have established cold and dark state uh, you are in a hurry you can go on directly onto the turnaround state and this will power on your aircraft into the default uh, modes which will be the external powers will be on the lights will be on uh, the batteries will be running and so on so I'll just show you the first way the couple of more are available here that you can try for yourself and you say um, you can check for yourself how it is going to be uh, taxi state as I told you that your aircraft will be ready for taxi that is uh, the gate departure and uh, the third state is the takeoff state where everything is running your engines are running and you are actually on the runway or near the runway and ready for takeoff so these are the two states that are available I'll go for the first one that is the turnaround state because um, that is the um very first default state after the cold and dark so i'll show you that click on turnaround state <coughs> and click on return and my simulation was in the pause mode now you see that your aircraft has got into the power mode directly so you are skipping all those uh, all those things which are uh, which are uh, to be done that is uh, clicking on the batteries one and two establishing battery one and two and uh, so on and so on and uh, <clears throat> you go into the uh, power on state directly and uh, this is the state which I which I have loaded directly as you can see all the gorges are running my panels are running uh, the lights are on 
uh, I show you the overhead panel as well this is the overhead panel and as you can see your IRSs are aligned uh, your uh, your engines modes and your external is ready for uh, your external power has been established and uh, rest of other lights have been on and uh, these are the lights which are uh, you need to do it and so this is the this is the state which gives you um, gives you the startup if you are running if you are in a hurry and you want to do the flight quickly so this is the state which i recommend that you go into it and you will have this state you will have these lights and all everything running your now your aircraft will be quickly into the power on state now i'll establish the uh, cold and dark state again <coughs> establish parking brakes are set and uh, the aircraft does its own uh, kind of uh, checks and everything to establish the you know, cold and dark state and uh, if there's no power on so your parking brakes may go back to its default position which is on brake because uh, there is no power to you know uh, have those brakes operating so this is the mode which gives you into the cold and dark state again now the long method which is going into your overhead panel and uh, turning on your uh, batteries <coughs> so before that we'll just check the batteries for both the batteries so here it is pull this up and shows you the battery one and battery two both powers are 227.2 the third one is the apu now apu that is available so now as you can see your external power is now available i'll click on battery one and your batteries are now on and i'll secondly turn on the batteries uh, the second battery for uh, on position and uh, now when i have this external power available i'll click on it and i'll establish external power and this will turn on your uh, this will actually start your aircraft's uh, power on stage it will do its own checks and um, other uh, check marks to see your aircraft and uh, rest of other things but this is the this is the long method of turning on your aircraft into uh, the power of state from your cold and dark state so nothing just battery one and two then establish your external power and um, that will uh, start your aircraft it will take some time to power on everything I'll just check if we have the panels on. Yes, the panels are now on, and as you can see, the IRSs are not aligned. So I'll just align the IRSs by now. And here are the IRSs, and just click on nav for all three uh, IRSs now. And all three IRSs are now into the nav position. And it will take some time to align your aircraft to the airport and uh, this is now in a dim position it will start as as the aircraft uh, takes power on it will start to uh, get a little brighter and uh, this will establish power uh, let's check if we have this power on the uh, mcdus as well and yes these are the mcdus which have uh, now in the power on state uh, i'll just turn on the radios for both the uh, captain and the first officer and uh, your radios are now on and uh, this is your door page your displays are already on the brighter side so nothing to worry about that and uh, <coughs> and now as your as your aircraft gets into the full power mode you can start with your um, other things that is uh, to turn on the lights so let's go back to our overhead panel i'll just go into the lower overhead panel and just start with the nav lights and that will go into the auto i'll uh, 
let's see what we can do what we can do here and yeah the emergency emergency lights can go to arm position and these are the emergency lights you can also turn on the wing lights and the strobe lights if you want um, I usually turn on when I establish the external power so I turn on I have this uh, um, kind of a thing to turn on all the lights which are required uh, apart from the landing and the taxi and the nose lights and then I'll on the seat belts to auto and now uh, the no portable electronic devices to go to auto as well and if you want you can turn on to the on position but I'll keep it on auto for now and uh, and what else what else what else what else yep probe him window heat can go to on position and uh, crew supply can go to on position passengers crew are by default on and uh, we now have some air for our crew or our cabin crew and uh, what else can we do yep all looking good this radio can go to on position and uh, you want you can turn on the you know, packs but not uh, required right now uh, fuels you can turn on the fuels if you want but uh, as this is just a power on tutorial this is this is what you want to have when you are into the cold and dark and you power on your aircraft so this is this is what gives you the same mode as that of the turnaround state so now your aircraft is in the same mode as we had done before in the turnaround state so uh, that's it guys very short and uh, sweet tutorial on to how to turn on your um, airbus a330 uh, from cold and dark state to the turnaround state or the power on state as you uh, saw this the other two modes as i said you can uh, experiment with it and see for yourself what um, how beneficial those modes are for you and you can message me or you can just uh, ping me into the message board uh, what are your experiences on that right so uh, that's it that's it about this tutorial i'll see you in the next tutorial where uh, i'll see if i can do um, uh, full flight for um, our airbus a330 or if not i can at least show you the process of uh, you know the flight planning uh, how to import your pfpx uh, flight plan into this airbus a330 and then uh, then we can get on with uh, the other stuffs like uh, you know uh, from departure to taxiing and then take off approach and then landing so this will follow uh, shortly as the time permits so uh, that's it from this tutorial that's it uh, this is uncle sam signing off and wish you again a very very happy and prosperous new year see you on the other side